Good evening, every you. <laughs> so, uh, my normal entrance is good evening, everyone. And that apparently is the wrong thing to say. I'm supposed to say good evening to you, to the person that I'm talking to. Because for some reason, saying you is very much more uh, involving. Uh, it makes you feel like you're part of the, the video. So I can use that now instead of saying good evening, everyone. I can say good evening to you. Um, I don't know. It, I think it might be a psychological test or something. But they said it increases views by 67%. I don't think it's true. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this video goes. Hello, Ozzy Adept. How are you, buddy? <clears throat> so... Um, I was looking around, and I think I know what I want to do. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. We'll keep those two. Um, so I want to do uh, birch wood. I was looking, and I'm like, oh, I don't have uh, don't have much birch in there. I got tons of lava because lava is like huge. Oh my gosh! Look at this. What happened here? Is this is this broken? Why are you why are you broken? Okay. Put that in there. Come here. Come here. Can we get it out? There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize there was that much over here. Oh goodness. Um we might have to go and sell off some of the, the firewood. Oh my gosh. There's a lot there. Hi, hi, how are you? What? That's good. I'm doing well. Okay. Good, good. Alright, so I should be able to flip this back off because it was single trigger, right? Yeah. So, let's go get some birch wood. You know, it's a Friday, uh, Friday afternoon, and we're just chilling. We're hanging out. Thank you, by the way, for being here. Um, lots of people have been watching all the videos this week, and it's been awesome because it's been pure. Lumber tech can do. Nothing loaded. Oh no. <gasps> Base wiped? Oh no. Defaultio! Defaultio. No, no, no. <laughs> He's like, whoa. He's the only guy that can fix it. I'm not an admin. A lot of people ask me all the time, code. Can, can you help me out? My base got wiped. There's this exploiter. They send me videos all the time of people exploiting. I think that's why I get so triggered at it, is because I see all the people. Time to fill out the form. <laughs> it's true. Defaultio has this form that you have to fill out. It's like a Google Doc, and you give them your name and stuff like that, and that's how he restores your base. It's off your user ID and your, uh, your name and stuff. So. Um... Like I said, I'm just going to be gathering some birch, putting the birch in, and just kind of hanging out tonight. Uh, today. T t tomorrow's. Well, technically, it's it's tomorrow to you. My, my tomorrow that you're in right now, which is your today. <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you use OBS? What, what's your recording software? First off, it is OBS, which is called Open Broadcast Software, and I use that to record the screen and to record my face and to do the green screen stuff in the background and the sound and the audio and all that. Um, a lot of people say you have to have a capture card. You do not. You do not need a capture card. Uh, in fact, most computers should be able to run OBS out of the box. Like, it's really good software. Uh, now, there are variations to it because it's an open source software. Uh, you can get the, uh, what's called Streamlabs version. Somebody was asking me today, hey Code, how do you get the little pop-up notifications? Uh, that's actually Streamlabs. If you go over to streamlabs.com, you should be able to sign up for an account. It's free. Uh, they do have premium accounts if you want to purchase and get some cool tools. I don't have a premium account. I probably could purchase one and just write it off with the tax um, right off. Oh, by the way, um, if you're going to start purchasing and using things for a business purpose, ow, hard hat, hard hat area. 
Um, you do need to be making money. I, I'm not a tax expert, nor am I a tax lawyer, so don't take what I'm about to say um, as law. <laughs> as lol. <laughs> no, just, um, but yeah, if you do actually get to the point where you can make money on YouTube, then you need to start itemizing things. Um, what I mean is... Um, if you go to like a convention or something like that and you're advertising your business like mine's code primate I've got I've got cards. I'm legit. It's got the legitness see like I pass these out and give them to people and it's got like my address on there My web a web address not my home address. That'd be weird But <clears throat> that's what I do um, People ask me all the time like code. How do you get so many subscribers? Just play and have fun and and do what you love to do. I love to play lumber. And a lot of people are like, Co, do you ever get bored of it? Well, I mean, too much of anything, yeah, you kind of get bored, but no. I don't get bored of lumber for some reason. It's just, it's very relaxing to come in here, chat with myself, and record it. You know? Because normally, um, I, w I would be talking to myself inside of my own head. We all do it. It's perfectly natural to do, uh, especially when there is like a stressful situation or whenever there's um, a moment of crisis. Um, and that doesn't mean a bad crisis. I, I'm talking about like a moment of excitement. Um, playing tag or hide and go seek can give you those moments of excitement. And you think to yourself, like if a situation didn't go the way that you planned, we do this all the time. We will go into our own heads and think of that situation and think of how we would have handled it differently. It's, it's a great defense mechanism, mecha mechanicalism. It's a great way that humans get better at situations is we reflect on, uh, on things that we do. So, um, <laughs> what's really funny and, and this is this isn't funny, but like when you're asking a girl out, or if you're asking a boy out, whenever whenever you're trying to like, hey, do you want to be girlfriend boyfriend? You play that situation over inside your head and your head and your head and your head and your head, okay? And you get nervous, you get butterflies in your stomach. This thing starts to happen that you're just like, <sighs> I'm going to tell you right now, just do it. Just go up and ask. Okay? And if you get rejected, fine. There was no harm, no foul. There's that slight embarrassment, that slight hurt of, of being, being rejected, but do not take that personally. Okay? Because there are plenty of opportunities where you're going to be able to ask a girl or ask a boy to, to out, to be a boyfriend, girlfriend. And I, I don't want to leave out boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. And I won't talk about that too much because that's something that you need to discuss with your parents. And if your parents are, are closed minded and not keen to the idea, like, and this is a message for the parents too, support your kids, their happiness and their safety and security should never be compromised. So if, if you have a child who is questioning whether or not they're gay or whether or not they're, they have uh, support it, talk about it and be okay with whatever the outcome is. I've, I've talked to my daughter about it. I've talked to my son about it. And if my son turns out to be gay, I'm okay with that. I still love him. He's my son. And if my daughter turns out to be gay, I love her just as much. I promise. It's not it's not gonna change any way that I feel about them. <sighs> I've said this about many things. Uh, I've like whenever she was trying out for cheerleading, I said, you know your dad's a geek, and kind of a nerd. And like I grew up in bands and wasn't part of the cheerleading squad or or uh, I did play football, but I mean, I wasn't a jock. I just, I just kind of 
I was in many different cliques, but I never really like belonged to any one group. Which, you know, it happens. You get your clicks. You get you get the nerds. You get the the um, jocks, the goths, or the emos. Uh, you know, and it should never. It's never okay to make fun of somebody because of the way they act or the way they look or any of that. So, be accepting of all. And uh, where was I going? I told my daughter, if you want to become a cheerleader, I will support it. I will support exactly what you want to do because your happiness is more important than any of my shortcomings about my judgments of stereotypes, such as cheerleaders, jobs, and stuff like that. Now, one thing that we can't really do, I mean, we could, but we can't really become preps. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you... Hold up. <laughs> Did it lift the whole thing? That is... It did. There we go. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh! Now it's really stuck. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. I was just trying to get some birch and you got, the, the thing went crazy. Go crazy. out of here. Come on. Get, get on out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Hi, buddy. What's going on, Stuart? There's sports. Face is sports. Hiya, buddy. Hiya, buddy. How are you? I remember you from, uh, from the live stream. <laughs> Long time no see. Hold up. Long time no see. Smiley face. I mean, it, it wasn't really that long ago, but. <laughs> okay. That's something else that I found people really like. Um, people love to be recognized. Because that's it's one thing that people ask me all the time. Code, do you remember me? Code, do you remember me? And for the most part, yeah, I remember most people that I meet. And I'll be honest and open if I'm like, I don't remember you. I'm sorry. And don't take offense to that because there are a lot of people I meet every single day. Remember last time I had a wet base wipe that day? Uh, I don't remember that part, but I do remember your name. And this, and Nad. And the smile. <laughs> oh, and that was supposed to be like was it? smiley face. Huh. Okay, so let's see how much that gave us. Pretty good little amount there. Wait, did it not? Wait, watch. It's birch. Hold on, hold on. You gotta hold on to what we've got. Is that not birch? What in the world? Okay, hold on. Let's grab that out of there. Get out of here. That's not birch. Hold on. Are those two different pieces of wood? Oh, oh. I can't make it. All right. 
I don't want to wait for it to go all the way around the treadmill. The conveyor belt. I'm not going to keep you guys too long on this Friday. I know that you're like excited to watch Lumber Taken 2 and me and have fun, but like... It is. It is Friday and you guys should be excited to like... Oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. You know what? Just... Yeah. yeah that's fine. Come on. Defatio. Um, I think I've mentioned this before. Could you please change the material of the swing arm to like gl um, not glass um, ice that way everything just kind of slides better oh I missed by the way code uh, that was the hacker time I'm talking about Maniacs and Burnack file. thank you <laughs> am goose CF I did not chat right hello Code. I got one unit of wood. I got you one unit of wood. <laughs> Thanks for the one unit of wood. <laughs> Changed my avatar to the one I had when I first met Code. In the video that I was in. Oh snap! We're gonna we're gonna get to see his original, the one that he met me in. What do you do? You say, whoa. It's a lot of lava wood. That's what I was saying. I'm like, that's that's a ridiculous amount. We're, we're, we need to go see here. Let's, let's grab this one down and let's go sell it. Let's just go sell this piece. See, see, just come on. So boom. Whoa. I should have an unloader so like conveyor belts that come out from these things and if they're if they're too whoa. if they're too full I could just turn on the the little conveyor belt thing the unloader belt and it would unload some of the wood Oh, that did not work. Okay, that's that's good enough for now. I mean, these three right here—that's probably a lot of money. Come on, buddy, come in with me. Oof, I'm just going to do this right. Oh, did you? Were you unable to find the the full outfit? Yeah, I was gonna sell a couple of them. Not that I need to. Uh, I've got like 16 million, but it's always good to to have fun. Ooh, somebody left a piece of wood down there. Hello, come here, you. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. There you go. Get you on home. <laughs> Zinc. There we go. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm I'm gonna make this one a quick one. I just needed a couple things of birch and to hang out with you guys for a second, say hello, and uh, mention the whole thing about the you versus the everyone. Because apparently, like, how's everyone doing? You're not supposed to say that. So, new YouTubers coming up, make it more personal, all right? You, the person I'm talking to, make sure that you say you within the first three minutes, two times. So. If you, if you do that, apparently that's supposed to increase the views. I don't know. If it did, awesome. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe, comment, do all those cool things. If this hits uh, a thousand views uh, before uh, midnight tomorrow night. So uh, today is the 20th. So on the 21st at midnight before it becomes the 22nd, if this video hits a thousand views, you got to share it with grandma and make sure that she subscribes too. <laughs> no, no. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Talk and Toe with me. That's Ken's Code Problem. Don't forget to like, comment, comment, subscribe down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber do does. And we will talk to you very soon.